Well, fuck. That was something I never expected to hear. For those of you living under a rock or have been away from your mobile device for a sustained period of time, Cleveland Cavaliers center Tristan Thompson has been suspended for 25 games for violating the NBA, NBA, PA anti-drug program. The earliest we could see Thompson return, if my math is correct, is against the Houston Rockets on March 16th. March 16th. That is nearly two fucking months. Daniel, Thompson tested positive for the human growth hormone ibutamorin and SARM LGD 4033 or ligandrol, which is used to increase energy, improve athletic performance, as well as increase muscle growth per WebMD. Both ibutamorin and ligandrol are included among the prohibited substances in the NBA's collective bargaining agreement. Both drugs are also banned by the World Anti-Doping Agency and the NCAA. Thompson signed a one-year deal with the Cavaliers in September after not appearing in a single NBA game during the 2022-23 regular season. He's played such a big role this season for the Cavs off the bench. Double T has appeared in 36 games and is averaging 3.8 points, 3.9 rebounds, and 1.1 assists while shooting 64.9% from the floor. During Cleveland's most recent win streak, he has averaged 5.5 points, 5 boards, and 1.9 assists. And with Thompson taking the fourth sabbatical, the Cavs' options to replace him are scarce. Damian Jones probably stands to gain the most, but he has largely been non-impactful when he's seen the floor. Jones is averaging 1.7 points, 1 rebound, and 0.2 blocks per game this season across 18 appearances. The intrigue when he was brought in was the floor spacing element that he may have in his game. Over the duration of his career, he has completed 37.9% of his looks from the perimeter on very, very small volume, just 0.3 per game. Should the Cavs roll with him? Isaiah Mobley is also an option. He has made just 16 appearances between this season and last at the NBA level, putting up per game numbers of 2.3 points, 1.4 rebounds, while making 43.8% of his shots from the field. However, the bulk of his time has been spent with the Cavs G League affiliate, the Cleveland Charge, where he's excelling this year. In 12 appearances for the Charge, Mobley is contributing 22.2 points, 10.2 rebounds, and 3.5 assists while converting over 49.5% of his shots. Now, he still isn't quite knocking down the three ball as much as you would have hoped, but at least he can knock them down given enough volume. He is on a two-way contract and could be brought up similar to how the Cavs have worked Craig Porter Jr. into the rotation of points. Does Isaiah Mobley deserve a shot? Then there's Pete Nance, who was recently signed to a 10-day contract by Cleveland. He is another guy filling up the stat sheet in the G League. Nance has noticeable bounds, has length as he is listed as 6'10 with a 7-foot wingspan, and comes with a high basketball IQ. They could elect to sign him to a second 10-day contract before the NBA's tread deadline. And if no moves are made at the deadline, the Cavs could easily convert CPJ's two-way deal and hand it to Nance, therefore locking him up and winding gold for the remainder of the year. That would get him an opportunity to see rotation minutes in Thompson's absence. The Cavs could also go the route of free agency, where players like Bismack Biombo, DeMarcus Cousins, and even Nerland Sorwell are all available. Or the trade market as well. Time will tell what they like to do, but this is quite the shock, you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Go Cavs!